Mr. Kenny, we can invite you to take the floor. Calibera Sass. Thank you. Uh, thank you, students, for that magnificent uh, creative performance this morning. It was a great way to start our conference and symposium. It's a, it's a great honor to address you all today and to share with you our exciting work, especially at the middle years level, those ages of 11 to 16, such a crucial period in a young person's development. So it's great that we're focusing on those years in particular. I'd like to thank Platon, all of the organizers that have made this wonderful event possible, and for everyone who's contributed to today. So we have this session for parents and for students, so a couple of messages directly to you. Parents, I think we owe you a debt of gratitude. Maybe first for having children, that's sort of helpful in the whole process because then we have students, right? But more seriously, for all the support that I know, and in particular, kind of Greek parents make in supporting their children and support, in supporting their children's education. So I think one thing we see in successful education is a strong partnership between the school and the parental community, that there's a consistency in the way that we approach and support our students at both home and school. So thank you for that support. And of course, the most important people in the room are the students themselves, right? This is what this is all about. And to you students, you may be a small percentage of the audience in terms of number, but you are 100% of our future. And one of the reasons why education is so important is that what we're all trying to do today and what we're all aligned in doing is to help provide you with the best possible education so you can make the best possible decisions in your life, the best possible contribution to society and be successful, but be successful and supportive with those around you. So uh, to the students, you're part of a very exciting global community of 1.6, 1.5, 1.6 million IB students in more than 130 countries. You're part of that community but also nationally in Greece, you're contributing and giving back to society. And it's that unique blend of international mindedness and cooperation, which I think is so unique to the IB. So a few points really to pick up from Maria in terms of the IB and the MYP program. And I'll show you uh, a brief video and some comments from students who did the MYP e assessment in terms of what they felt about it. Because I think it's only when you hear the student voice, you get an appreciation of how different it is. So it's our 50th year and just great to be celebrating it here with all of you. So the way forward. So just a couple of things, just to kind of stress in terms of what is the IB, the IB organization. So the IB organization is a non-for-profit charity founded in Switzerland, began with a, a group of international schools and it's recognized by UNESCO as an NGO. So it has a very special status and makes a contribution to international education, which is quite unique. And we have a clear mission aligned to the school's mission here to impact the world through education. And as we heard from Maria, we heard the comments about the, the learner profile, the type of attributes we're looking for for learners. So the focus is that we have knowledgeable, inquiring students, and of course that goes back to the Greek Socratic tradition, Platonic tradition that we've heard, to ensure that uh, people are treating the world with intercultural understanding and respect, and that others with difference can also be right. It's just a way of engaging. We've talked about the IB. Uh, one of the very special um, features of the Platon School here is that it is a continuum school. And what we mean by that is that it is offering a continuous program of IB education from the age of three right through to the exiting school with the diploma. And that is sort of quite unique and gives the philosophy and the approach of the teaching and collaborative planning in the school quite a differentiating factor. So the MYP, as we've heard, is um, it's a framework. And Maria spoke about how that framework of international standards and objectives also meets the Greek national requirements. So that it's blending the two, but it's being done to an international standard with the best practice in terms of inquiry, collaborative planning, and work. And 
We have done a lot of work in improving not only the continuum uh, um, curricula, but also ensuring that the MYP program is the best preparation for the diploma. And I think this is something that's an important sort of topic today to ensure that the approach that Maria described in terms of the different subjects, the focus on the personal project as a way to show deep learning and really performance in terms of what you've achieved in a particular area is the type of thing you'll be doing when you go on to the diploma, you'll be doing the extended essay, you'll have again a focus on creativity, action and service. So there's that theme and development. So the approach to the learning, the inquiry-based classrooms, the projects and things are things which go right through to the diploma program. So it provides that, that pathway and difference. And I think what my colleague Peter will be talking to in terms of recognition is you can see, and I think the universities even you know, here, in the, uh, here in the Netherlands, uh, they can see IB students, they stand out. Not only because they're academically strong, but because they contribute differently to the life of the university as a whole. And that's partly the approach to teaching and learning. So as we said, um, MYP students as they go forward have the option of doing the MYPE assessment. And it's quite, it's quite a recent development. And what we've really created is a learning management system. So the assessments themselves combine all types of stimulus, video material, data and information. And what the students are tasked with doing is applying their skills and knowledge, analyzing the information and producing uh, really deep uh, examples of work. So it's very different to traditional forms of assessment and to current forms of other e-assessment. Um, this was recognized, and I think what's uh, really very, very proud that the e-assessment uh, offering of the MYP uh, won an international award as the best use of summative assessment. So that what you see is that it was the best transformational project and that the, the richness and the environment of the e-assessments was really credited as being very, very different. So we're not just transferring, you know, A, B, C, D exams into e-assessment. We're creating a wholly new, rich environment. And what's important there is that the students themselves are replicating the skills and the work that they will do, not just in the diploma, but in wider life and at university, and we can start that much early. So here's a video, some student voices on what they thought of the e-assessment. It's a nice experience. I had even fun with some parts of the exam. This is basically the developing age and everything, like, everything's developing and it's changing. So we need to uh, be introduced to different kinds of technologies and systems. The digital world is going tr to transform education as well. The same way it's transformed all kinds of domains. The learners of the 21st century are used to using a computer, so let's recognise it and let's move on with the times. The first thing uh, I've noticed is the enjoyment of the student sitting behind the on-screen examination interacting with the exam. I feel like after taking numerous exams where it's just been multiple choice, or a short answer that I really had fun being able to flesh out my ideas on the exam itself. It is much better because you interact with different sources in which you use your own skills. Um, it was pretty cool how much stuff you could do that you can't usually do on a normal test. One of the sources was a video, so it, there was a question where you had to describe the body language and how it reflected a certain idea. So it was a new thing for me to experience. I really liked how I was being tested on my skills and not my ability to memorize. Uh, I think it's my pleasure to take this assessment 
The, uh, the features and tools were very easy to use. It was right there and all you had to do was click it. I definitely like typing better than writing it out because you can do it faster and you can change your ideas very quickly by deleting and retyping. Yeah, this examination is indeed really beneficial. It enables us to um, grow as learners as we have had the opportunity to deal with different problems and questions we have never dealt with before. The best aspect was that it included every single skill you have to perfect in order to complete the MYP. As the learner profile shows that uh, all the learners or the community need to be risk takers. We really want to embrace and, and, and meet that challenge, uh, especially to do something new for our team, for our teachers and parents. They're all very excited to do on screen examinations. This experience was uh, so compatible with their minds at this age. It is just beyond to receive a certificate from the IB. It is very um, practical and a very useful thing for, for the students to further the study or to find a job in the future. It is eco-friendly, we do not need to use more paper. Students sitting doing the exam and then in less than a minute the exam is already uploaded to the IB. I think this is something big, it's something innovative. So I, I really enjoyed that. One of the comments I really liked was um, one of the head teachers saying that the e-assessment was compatible with their students' minds, right? And um, you know, I think you know, finishing, just closing now with a bit of philosophy would be to say that when you give students the opportunity, they show you the potential they have. And I think that's what we're trying to model in the education and the assessment here. So I look forward to continuing the discussion. Thank you very much for your time and talk to you later.